someone commented on one of my videos yesterday and said that I should talk about the death of Kazumi. Uh, he obviously believes that she was significantly nerfed, and initially looking at her cha uh, changes, I kind of agree, but uh, there are some interesting uh, buffs to her as well, so we're going to walk through it together and see if we can figure out what's going to be happening with the character. First of all, recovery decreased by 6 frames on your rage uh, art. Don't really care about rage arts. Next, 1-1, one, one, and this is pretty big. 1-1 one, one, and 1-2, one, which are your main jab strings. And these are very important moves for Kazumi. She loves these moves because she's doing 1-1, one, one, looking for the hit confirm and going into 2. Uh, and she's constantly you know, stepping and jabbing. Uh, they, both of these strings, the 1-1 one, one and the 1-2, have seen their frame data. Uh, uh, nerfed. So 1-1 um, one, one has gone from minus 1 on block to minus 3 and uh, from minus uh, sorry from plus 8 on hit to plus 6. 1-2 has gone from minus 1 uh, on block to minus 3 on block and from plus 7 to plus 5 on hit. So it's an overall pretty heavy nerf to your uh, main pressure tools, your jabs. So you're not going to be able to harass and rush people down with jabs as fast anymore and it's going to give your opponent uh, more opportunities to interrupt you when you are a Applying that strategy. And that's actually a pretty significant nerf to the character because she loves her jabs. Uh, next, 1 2 2, which is this block punisher that you don't really use for anything else but block punishing. And half the time when you're block punishing, more, 90% of the time when you're block punishing, you're actually using 1 1 2 because you like the knockdown more than the two extra damage. This has given you uh, two more plus frames on uh, hit here, so you get plus four instead of plus two. So maybe a slightly bigger incentive to actually use one two two over uh, one one two for your ten frame block punisher. But that's the uh, only real uh, change that's happening here. And my prediction is that one one two is still going to be the preferred option uh, for most people. Uh, next. Uh, two one move comes out three frames slower. So this two one is a nice little uh, cool poke string for you. This is also going to be slower now, so it's another another little nerf to your poke game. This string wasn't used all too much. Uh, it can be used to create these awkward uh, back turn situations, uh, but it is a nerf to your poke game again. Three frames slower is actually pretty significant for a fast move like this. I think it's uh, enough of a nerf that this move is no longer going to see uh, basically any use whatsoever. I think they've uh, pretty much nerfed this string out of the game. Next, 3-1 uh, opponent closer on block. So this is going to, uh, if we let it get blocked here, that's going to have uh, less pushback. It doesn't currently have a lot of pushback, so uh, that's not uh, all that big. But the next one is pretty big. 1 plus 2. This is one of my favorite moves with Cosme, one of my favorite moves in the entire game. It's so good. It's one of the best 12 frame block, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, block punishers in the game. It's a good interruption and defensive tool. It's used in her wall combos for its massive damage. It's absolutely fantastic in every way. And apparently it was a little bit too good because the damage of the first two hits has gone from 8-8. Uh, eight, eight. It currently does 8-8. Eight, eight, like that. Uh, to doing 3-7. So uh, heavy, heavy nerfs to the damage of the first two hits. The Tiger isn't mentioned, so I'm guessing that the Tiger is still going to come out for 20, which is good, but it's still big enough that uh, it's really going to hurt the string. And one thing that I'm interested in, because currently this string, right, uh, the way you use it is, uh, you use it in um, uh, wall ender. So you do uh, stuff like this for a combo ender at the wall, right? And you get good damage. I think this damage nerf might be significant enough that you might have to figure out other things for your wall combo. You might be uh, forced to do something different here. And I don't think she has too many options that are good outside of this. Um, so who knows? Maybe her wall game is a lot worse. Uh, we're going to have to see what the Cosmi mains figure out for their new wall combo. Or if the change just isn't significant enough that this is still going to be the preferred option. But it's uh, definitely a nerf to your wall damage. So that's 1 plus 2. Next, 1, 4. Damage change from uh, 30 to 27. Sorry, 1 plus 4. So the damage of this move has been nerfed. Uh, this is also sad because this was very chunky and it made uh, this thing that you can get guaranteed uh, very, very heavy. Um... This is punishable on hit, by the way, not on block, if you're fighting someone really good who knows how to do it. Um, but uh, apparently that was too much. Uh, I don't see uh, why exactly. Uh, where were we? Yeah, 1, 4. Active frames decreased by 5. Okay, so that means that's probably not going to be punishable on hit anymore. Recovery decreased by 22 frames. Yeah, so yeah, this is definitely going to make it uh, a lot easier to... Uh, not get punished and then uh, opponent closer on block so 
maybe a slightly more useful move now for other things than this specific knockdown situation, 3-2 into Guaranteed Tiger. Uh, and I think the reason they changed, changed it, it's not supposed to be intentional. Uh, it's not intentional, I should say, that you hit with this, your opponent has time to get up, and while they're still doing the Pokemon point, you know, the I choose you right there, they can run up and punish you. So that's a removal of that from the game. Uh, but I think this might also just make the string a lot less useful, and maybe now you're just going to go for the down two instead here every time. Uh, because that's your other option for uh, guaranteed damage here. Like that, for 47, which is still pretty good. Okay, that's uh, 1 plus 4. Next, 2 plus 3. Uh, recovery decreased by 6 frames, opponent close round block. So, uh, 2 plus 3, it's this tiger. So the other tiger move also has a better recovery, um, but... Uh, worse knockback so maybe slightly better for uh, throwing out from half screen uh, because your opponent can't sidestep it and then run up and punish you as easily they can do that pretty easily right now but in the uh, but uh, on the other hand if you are close it's going to be easier for them to block punish it because they're not going to be knocked back as much they nerf the knockback of the move forward three changed from this is forward three by the way changed from uh, minus 6 to minus 8 on block so this is going to be even easier to uh, when this gets blocked if she goes into her uh, stance here to jab her out of uh, changed from plus 7 to plus minus 0 on hit so she could do this and get plus 7 before and then you got mix ups and now you don't get that anymore because you're plus minus 0 opponent reaction changed on hit so this is another one of those uh, ambiguous wordings what does changed on hit mean if this does something completely amazing on hit now then maybe the string is still super viable maybe it's even better than it was before uh, there's not really any uh, way to tell but this forward thing when it connects right here it's going to do something different to the opponent going forward and depending on what that is the stance might might uh, be very very bad up close and uh, you know going forward only used from uh, downtown to get like quick uh, mix-ups with a hell sweep um, or it might just still be amazing we'll, we'll have to see not still amazing because it's not currently amazing but it might become amazing who knows Ford 3 plus 4 uh, so this is Ford 3 plus 4 uh, recovery increased by three frames uh, back 3 plus 4 forward now transition so you can do uh, fly back and transition into fly forward. We've already seen this uh, and I like I said in my previous video I don't think it's gonna be too big. I don't think it's gonna be evasive enough to count, but who knows uh, during fearless warrior one uh, uh, Which is uh, this fly stance by the way that I just called fly stance, but apparently it's supposed to be called fearless warrior one damage changed from 21 to 25 so it's a damage nerf to this move uh, changed from minus 13 to minus 9 on block, so it's safe now. That means that it's a very good uh, mix-up option. Um, opponent further away on block causes wall bounce on hit, so I don't think this is going to be the normal hit launcher anymore. We saw this in the wall bounce preview. It's going to be a move that causes uh, wall bounces instead. Uh, if it still has the launch property, it's going to be a very amazing move because you can uh, fly in from down here and mix this hell sweep up with a safe minus nine mid launcher. But I think it's just going to be a chunky mid going forward and it's going to be your option for the wall bounce. So similar to Lars, whether or not Kazumi gets to wall bounce the opponent is going to depend on whether or not this stance is successful as a mix up tool or are you going to be able to force the opponent to duck using this stance if you are then you're going to get the wall bounces causing me if you can't then you're not really okay um that was fearless warrior one fearless warrior two and uh, this thing has been changed from minus six to minus ten on block so this is now a punishable move the way you dealt with this currently is you ducked it uh, but now you can just block and punish it so it's a significant nerf to this move uh, during Fearless Warrior 3, oh, homing increased, it says as well, so you have better tracking on this. If it's good enough that uh, you can't sidestep it, then it's, yeah, it's slightly better, but it's still a nerf that it's uh, punishable on block now. Overall, the move's weaker. During Fearless Warrior 3, opponent reaction changed on hit. Fearless Warrior 3 is this thing, which knocks your opponent down for good damage. It can cause wall spots. It's one of your main uh, mids from this stance. Um, and like uh, I, I've said before, changed on hit uh, we don't know what that means if it turns into a normal hit launcher then the move is amazing if it, it doesn't do that maybe it just you know does the doesn't even do the knockdown anymore and you stand in their face uh, we'll just have to wait and see but it's uh, an interesting uh, change fearless warrior one plus two 
this is, uh, you know, uh, this thing. It currently gives you plus two on block. It's going to give you plus four. So this is a buff. Opponent further away on block, so more pushback. Uh, and if that means that you're not going to be able to do this into counter at four anymore because of the bad range of standing four, then you're not going to be able to uh, destroy uh, low-level people with this setup anymore, which is sad. Um, next, uh, f uh, one plus two, let's see here. Opponent reaction changed on hit, so again, this is going to do something different on hit. Who knows what? Uh, maybe it's a launcher, maybe it does nothing, who knows? Uh, so, yeah, you're going to have to try out this stance and see what's going to be happening to it when the patch drops. Uh, so far, I have a feeling that it's not going to be very good, but uh, we can't tell yet. During Fearless Warrior 1 plus 3, and this is her... Um, this is the throw thing, right? Uh, let's have a look. Com okay, yeah, yeah, he, she doesn't currently have this. Command change from during Fearless Warrior at uh, back 1 plus 2, too. Okay, so she has the throw, and this is back 1 plus 2 out of Fly currently, and the notation of that is going to change to be uh, Fearless Warrior or Fly Stance 1 uh, plus 3. So it's just a change of the notation. Damage change from 10 to 15, and this does uh, pitiful damage right now, so it's not a bad thing that it gets a little bit more. But this is not used for its damage, it's used for the fact that you can use it to get a guaranteed wall spot like that. Okay, uh, so big changes to the fly stance. I think it's gonna make it worse, but it might make it better. It depends completely on what all this, uh, you know, changed reaction on hit stuff actually means. Uh, down for three, change from a minus 11 to minus three on block. Down for three is a good mid poke for Cosmi. This is safe now, so now she has a reliable fast fish hook here for interruption. That is going to be safe, similar to uh, a lot of other fish hooks in the game, like standing for from Chloe and so on. So uh, this is a, a homogenization of a move like this. Uh, opponent further away on hit, change from... Uh, Plus minus zero to plus two on it. Yeah, so it's an overall buff to this as a mid poke, which is cool. Uh, down one, two. And this is a, a move that I like. Kind of similar to Paul. It has all that pushback. Startup change from 20 to 23. So it's... Uh, no, sorry. Wrong wrong section. I forget what I just said. Uh, down one, two. Change from minus 17 to minus 13 on block. So it's a lot better on block. Not as punishable. But it's not going to have all this amazing uh, amazing pushback. You can see that it has a lot of pushback right now. Meaning that a lot of people don't get to punish it. But now it's going to be uh, better on block. But the opponent's going to be closer. So they're going to get a less significant punish. They're not going to launch punish it. But they are going to be able to reliably punish because of the decreased uh, pushback. Transitions to throw when hitting from the front. Wow, that's weird. Uh, that's really weird. Okay, wow. I, I hadn't read that yet. So apparently when this hits in the front right now, it's just going to give you uh, uh, a throw uh, somehow. That's probably going to look awesome. Okay, so we're looking forward to that. That's really cool. Yeah, interesting. I mean, the move is going to be reliably punishable at minus 13 still. So honestly, if it doesn't have the pushback, I don't know how useful the string is going to be. If that throw is great and gives you super good oki, then yeah, maybe. But uh, probably what's going to happen is that this move just isn't going to see a whole lot of use anymore. Maybe. Crazy theory. Crazy theory. I have no idea if this is the case, but maybe you do this. And you do that for your new wall combo and throw. It does something at the wall, but that didn't even connect, so I don't think that's the case. Uh, probably just, uh, uh, you know, my imagination running wild a little bit. Next, down back two. Startup change from 20 to 23, which means that down back two is now in the seeable range, making it a lot worse, a lot worse. Um, damage change from 15 to 18, so you get slightly more damage. Doesn't matter if the low isn't useful anymore. Recovery on block for both players increased, which means that it's an insignificant change because it's for both players. Changed from plus minus zero to minus three on hit, so it's worse on hit. Home increased. So this uh, basically means that this uh, low is going to be pretty uh, bad right now, and I think this is actually going to make this low uh, not useful anymore. I think 23 is a little bit too slow. Um, and yeah, it has the homing property, so it becomes slightly more similar to uh, Dragonov's down to, but not really. I honestly think that this a nerf to the startup frames is significant enough that you can say goodbye to this move. Maybe not, but uh, that's my theory. So this is nerfed out of the game, and this is nerfed out of the game. This might be nerfed out of the game. 
Uh, down back two, three, four. Change from minus eleven to minus fourteen. Change from uh, plus eight to plus five on hit. So uh, yeah, the the continuation of the string is also nerfed overall. Down back three. Hitbox decrease. So one of your uh, this is not a significant low poke. This is one of your low pokes. This doesn't have a massive hitbox or anything. It's not even all that powerful. It's just a cool little low. Apparently this is a nerfed hitbox. Uh, so that's sad. Down back four, your uh, best slow, your stature kick, hitbox decrease, so this is going to be worse now too. This is one of your absolute most powerful moves with Cosme, one of the most important moves that you have. It's really the only significant low you have, and if they're going to nerf this thing out of the game, this thing isn't going to be good anymore, then giving this uh, a nerf to its hitbox is pretty big, because it means that a character who already doesn't have great lows uh, outside of this now has even worse low games, so I think... Uh, Nerfing Stature Kick is big because she loves this move. She loves her jabs, she loves her down forward one, and she loves her Stature Kick. And she doesn't really care all that much about flying around uh, like this. So they want you to care less about your very, very powerful and cool pokes. And they want you to worry more about uh, you know flying around in the air like an asshole. Uh, but yeah, if the Fly Stance is good, maybe that's cool. Who knows? Um, but I, I know Cosmic players are going to be very sad about nerfed hitbox on Stature Kick. It has a good hitbox right now, so it might still be good after the nerf. There might be a tiny decrease in the hitbox. Who knows? Uh, up forward 341 and up forward 343. Three. So this is your Hunting Hawk, which is currently not really used with Kazumi. The only real situation where I use it at all is uh, as a combo off of my Rage Drive. I do that. It's one of the few ways of getting really good damage off of that Rage Drive. And it is good for that, but it's not really good for anything else. And Heihachi, for example, has a version of this move that is pretty good, but yours is just very punishable. So let's see what they've done to it. Um, 3, 4, 1, so that's the uh, Karate Chop version, that version. Um, up for 3, changed from minus 15 to minus 11, so a lot better on block. Opponent reaction on block was changed. Who knows what it's going to do on block uh, now, but minus 11 is a lot better than minus 15, so it's a buff to this string. Up for 3, 4, 3, changed from minus 16, because this was actually launch punishable, this launcher, to minus 11. That's pretty good, because what you have now is a long range powerful launcher. Uh, that's uh, going to be only minus 11 on block, so uh, it's it's a lot safer. You're basically going to eat jabs for getting it blocked most of the time, which isn't too significant. Uh, I mean, unless you're playing against Elisa with two bars or something like that. But uh, but yeah, so that's pretty nice because I like Hunting Hawk. It's a cool move. It's, it's very dramatic in its animation. So now this is going to be viable, which I think is uh, nice. Uh, if I play more Kazumi in Season 2, then I'm going to be trying this move out. Uh, up forward four jump status starts change from uh, jump status start change from nine to thirteen. So her hop kick, which is bad because it doesn't have range, uh, now it's gonna have uh, jump status on the thirteenth frame instead of the nine ninth frame. I don't know if that's gonna change much about it. It needed more range or more damage or something. Uh, it needed a buff in my opinion, but it's basically unchanged as far as I can tell. 442 recovery on block after both players uh, for both players decreased by four. 442 is this uh, power crush move where uh, the tiger jumps off of them and has good damage. Uh, and then uh, opponent reaction on block was changed. So again, it's difficult to know what's going to happen, but it sounds like a change that isn't going to change much. It's just uh, you know. Uh, because the f the frame uh, because the recovery is changing for both players, the sum total of the change is zero. It's just going to be a, a matter of how fast you can get back into the action after a move gets blocked. Four 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 homing decreased. Four 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 is another one of your absolute best moves. It's your safe uh, launcher. Um, and uh, the fact that this has a worse homing right now and it's a lot more linear means that people are going to be looking out for it and trying to sidestep it. That's going to be a lot more reliable so it's another pretty significant nerf to one of your best moves so far uh, your stature kick which is one of your best moves is nerfed your jabs which are some of your best moves are nerfed one plus two which is uh, one of your best moves uh, is nerfed and now well, what were we talking about uh, the uh, yeah the axe kick is also nerfed so very uh, um, good moves are being nerfed the nerfs might not be huge but the best moves are being uh, looked at 
Uh, while rising one opponent closer on block, uh, don't really care. It needed more range. Uh, while rising one two, input window changed from 20 to 21, so you can't delay this as much anymore. Um, I don't know why that's necessary. Uh, approach enemy down for one plus two. Uh, timing damage is register was changed. Damage on wall had changed from 32 to 42, so uh, that's 10 more damage on this very powerful wall spanning throw. And that might upset you because it's already great. It's already 70, so that's 10 more damage at the beginning of that combo. That's pretty big, uh, but uh, people can break this 1 plus 2. And the other thing is because the uh, 1 plus 2 move that's used for the combo ender is nerfed, uh, the overall combo damage might not be significantly higher. It's going to depend on what the new wall ender for Kazumi is. And then time uh, with enemy attack back uh, one plus two. So this is your uh, like one of the coolest stances or power crushes in the game. I love this when she flexes like this. It's so cool. Tigers attack now faster when opponent's attack is received. That's good. That's a buff because currently what happens with this move is that the tiger comes out super late and your opponent has time to recover in between. I think if you are able to successfully uh, parry something with this awesome attack, you should be able to get that tiger guaranteed. He comes out and, d and does the Sonic the Hedgehog move, this thing. Um, so uh, that's nice. But that's the last move. So for Kazumi, I have to say that overall, her best moves were significantly nerfed. Her jab strings, her stature kick. They didn't touch Crimson Dawn, which I guess we should be happy about if we if we like Kazumi. If you hate Kazumi, you're probably happy about this. Uh, the axe kick, uh, kick was nerfed. We saw potential buffs or at least significant changes to the warrior stances, the flying stances. So, like I said, they probably want you to be less of a poking character and more of a character that flies around and mixes people up. I think that makes it a less a fun character potentially to use. Um, but I do really love Hunting Hawk, and I do really love uh, this parry. So, a couple of moves that I like to use with Kazumi were slightly improved, and that's what I'm going to be playing around with if I continue playing her in uh, Season 2, which I probably will. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about the changes. I have to say that overall, this is one of the characters that I've seen that the most nerfs of out of the ones that I've looked at, you know, in depth. I'm only going to look at characters that I have an interest in or that I uh, play to some extent. There might be characters out there who have seen uh, much heavier nerfs, but I'm uh, going to have to find that out as we uh, move along into Season 2. Thank you so much for watching this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.